So a lot of people have been asking me, I'm guessing it's because they can't find them in the video log of my channel, but they're still asking about the rings. Now, here's my best explanation of the rings. And I'm going to use, you're going to have to go to um, somewhere and find the chart that tells you uh, what wind is you, or how to use the rings with the wind and what the the uh, each ring is worth when it comes to wind so um, I'm gonna give this example with the uh, sniper club the sniper has a 100% accuracy on the club so that means each one of those rings so that yellow one the red one the blue one the black one and the white one are each worth one mile an hour of wind now as you can see here he has 4.4 miles an hour of wind so you want to move that Great shot. target four rings and a little bit over to the uh, opposite ah. direction of which way the wind's blowing and that will adjust for the wind so I'll try and show you here. So 5.6. Now there's one, two, three, four, five rings. So at the outer edge of the white ring is five uh, miles an hour with the um, Viper, or sorry, not the Viper, the Sniper Club. Now myself, um, with the Apocalypse, I don't know the exact number, but it's not one-to-one -one. you have to look up there is a list out there that shows you uh, the accuracy level of your club and what each ring will be worth as a mile per hour now I'm hoping this is making sense to everybody <clears throat> the now there's another way that I've um, found but I'm gonna make another video about that with the squares on the green now that's for a completely different shot as well so when you're now you'll notice when you're getting closer to the green or uh, closer to the hole the target adjusts itself it either it gets smaller and bigger and it um, so that it gives you the accurate um, miles per hour wind to uh, the ring amount of rings you're going to use so make sure you're checking that out whoops what happened there oh it must be something in the way Perfect so <clears throat> on the approach here oops guess I didn't mean to move it over that far I wasn't really uh, adjusting to the wind there but um, make sure you check the chart because they're not all one-to-one -one. this only works with the hundred percent accuracy of the sniper so like th this Nirvana let's say for example I'm not I don't know what the number is but it's probably two point something miles per hour per um, per shot. ring so in, if you had four you would move it over two rings well that's that's the way to do it uh, get rid of my water shot but there you have it guys I hope you understood what I was trying to say there um, it's not the easiest thing now here's another thing that you can also do when you're you know you have to move the you have to move the um, target whoops you have to move the target exactly the right way too so the way we've I've been doing it is if you put the arrow so it's facing perfectly straight and then you move it one two three four um, that is how you adjust for the wind Great shot. 
And that all lands on if you have the perfect landing in the target as well. So everything has to be perfect for it to be exact. But there you have it. I hope that explanation works for you. If not, leave some um, questions in the comments and I'll try and answer them a little bit better. But for now, thanks for watching. Um, you know, hit up the Facebook page. The, I guarantee you that list is on our Facebook page somewhere. Um, I guarantee you it is. So go to Golf Clashers, uh, sign up for the chat or for the uh, Facebook page. And you can find that there. And everybody will help you out there as well. So thanks for watching. Um, you know, subscribe to the channel and sh please share the videos. And, uh, hit that like button for me. But uh, thanks for watching. We'll uh, catch you on the next video.